TikTok has been making headlines in recent times, and not for the right reasons. The wildly popular app, known for its short-form videos, has been facing backlash and even a ban in several countries. So, what's the deal with TikTok and why are so many countries banning it? Firstly, let's take a step back and look at the app itself. TikTok is a social media platform that allows users to create and share short videos, ranging from dance challenges to comedy skits, all set to popular music tracks. It has become incredibly popular, particularly among younger audiences, and has even spawned viral trends and challenges. However, concerns have been raised about TikTok's ownership and data privacy. The app is owned by a Chinese company called ByteDance, and there are worries that the Chinese government could potentially access the personal data of users. The Chinese company that controls TikTok, ByteDance, has consistently maintained that it does not share any data with the Chinese government and does not keep any of its data there. The company says that it is independently managed and refutes claims that it collects more user data than other social media sites. This has led to bans in several countries, including India, which was the first to ban TikTok in 2020, and the United States, which attempted to ban it but was met with legal challenges. Why are governments banning TikTok? China is the key to everything. The possibility that TikTok and its parent company, ByteDance, could provide the Chinese government access to private user data, such as location data, has become a growing source of concern for Western legislators and authorities. They have referenced legal provisions that allow the Chinese government to secretly ask Chinese companies and citizens for information in order to gather intelligence. They are also concerned that China could use TikTok's content recommendations to disseminate bogus information. The first ban in the United States was in 2020. It was met with criticism and legal challenges. The Trump administration attempted to ban TikTok over national security concerns, but the ban was blocked by courts. The Biden administration has since put the ban on hold while it reviews the situation. The prohibition was also the target of legal challenges and criticism in the US. Because of worries about national security, the Trump administration attempted to prohibit TikTok, but the decision was reversed in courts. The Biden administration has since put the ban on hold while it looks into the situation. The US, again in the first week of March 2023, announced that because of data security concerns, government organizations had 30 days to remove TikTok from federal devices and networks. Even while some U.S. senators support a total ban, the prohibition only applies to technology used by the government. Meanwhile, more than 50 U.S. states have prohibited using the app for official businesses. What is happening in U.S. regarding TikTok? Many institutions, including the University of Texas at Austin, Auburn University, and Boys State University, have barred TikTok from their campus Wi-Fi networks since November and more than two dozen states have outlawed the app on devices that are provided by the government. Is American Congress trying to ban TikTok? Some members are interested. The House Foreign Affairs Committee gave its approval to a bill that would grant the president the authority to outright prohibit the platform. Josh Hawley, a Republican senator from Missouri, worked to get a law that forbade TikTok on all federally issued devices passed on December as part of a funding agreement. He then submitted a bill in January to extend the prohibition to all Americans. In December, a different bipartisan bill was introduced with the goal of outlawing TikTok and any other equivalent social media companies present in countries like Iran and Russia. Although the White House recently mentioned an ongoing review in response to inquiries about TikTok, it has been fairly quiet. In order to resolve concerns about TikTok and ByteDance's relations with the Chinese government and the handling of user data, TikTok has been in secret talks with the administration's review panel for years, the Committee on Foreign Investment in the United States. TikTok claims that company has received almost no input since submitting a 90-page proposal in August explaining its plans to operate in the US while allaying national security concerns. The bans in these countries have had a significant impact on TikTok's growth and popularity. However, it's worth noting that the app is still available on many countries and continues to be popular among its users. 
There are also alternative apps to TikTok, such as Instagram's Reels and Byte, which have emerged as competitors. However, none of these apps have quite captured the same level of attention and engagement as TikTok. Many other countries, including India and Canada, have also implemented a ban on TikTok in recent times. India Due to privacy and security concerns, India banned WeChat and hundreds of other Chinese apps in 2020, including TikTok. The ban was quickly put into effect after a conflict between Chinese and Indian troops along the controversial Himalayan border resulted in the deaths of 20 Indian soldiers and serious injuries to many more. The ban in India was a significant blow for TikTok, as it was one of its biggest markets. The Indian government cited concerns about national security and data privacy as the result for the ban. The ban caused a huge uproar among TikTok users and creators who had amassed millions of followers and were making a living from the platform. Some even took to other social media platforms to express their frustration and disappointment. In January 2021, the prohibition was made permanent after firms had a chance to address privacy and security issues. Taiwan Taiwan banned TikTok for the public sector in December 2022 after the FBI warned that the app posed a threat to national security. On government-owned hardware like as smartphones, tablets, and desktop computers, Chinese-made software is not allowed to be utilized, including apps like TikTok, its Chinese translation Douyin, or Xiaohongshu, a Chinese lifestyle content app. Canada Following the U.S. move, Canada declared on Monday that TikTok usage is not permitted on government-issued devices because it poses an unacceptable danger to security and privacy. European Union The European Parliament, European Commission and EU Council, three of the most important EU institutions, have all prohibited TikTok on employee devices. On March 20th, the embargo set by the European Parliament goes into effect. Politicians and staff members have been asked to remove the software from their personal devices. Pakistan TikTok has been temporarily outlawed by Pakistani authorities four times since October 2020 as a result of concerns that the app promotes the viewing of immoral content. Afghanistan In 2022, the Taliban leadership in Afghanistan outlawed TikTok and the video game PUBG, citing the need to prevent children from being deceived. Is China really collecting user data, or is it being accused for nothing? Although the controversy surrounding China's alleged use of facial recognition technology to collect data on individuals has been making headlines around the world, but it's still unclear whether they are using TikTok to collect facial recognition data. While some, such as the director of UK spy agency GCHQ, Jeremy Fleming, have encouraged young people to use the app, concerns about the data privacy and ownership have been mounting. TikTok's use of data has been the subject of several news investigations, including a report from BuzzFeed in June that alleged China-based employees at ByteDance have accessed non-public data about US TikTok users. These allegations have led to concerns that the Chinese government could potentially access the personal data of users. Despite these concerns, it's worth noting that facial recognition technology is not unique to China, and many countries have invested in this technology and use it in various ways. However, the concern with China is the potential misuse of this technology for surveillance purposes.